All right, this is days oh, 10, 11, 12, 13, and possibly 14. Uh, this took four or five days uh, to do, I think, four. Uh, this is the main that I went with. Uh, General, General Electric. It's actually going to be wired up for a 50 amp breaker. But I'll show you what I have done to supply power to the bus right now. Um, and then this is the exhaust fan that I used. It's over here. It's going to go down and been out the side. I ran everything in MC cable and as many boxes as I could are metal. Uh, it's grounded to the box. Uh, a lot of the boxes are hooked to the bus. It's grounded to the bus. Um, a lot of the, or not a lot, uh, a couple of places I had to put the MC cable down and attach it to the underside of the bus so that I could get it to uh, the other side for what I need over there. Um, it's mostly over here on the right, right side of the bus in this wall and then all the plumbing is going to be on the left side. Um, this is, this is the main. Uh, I have this wired up. It's plugged in right now. So that there is power uh, going to this right now. Everything's on four 20 or five 20 amp breakers. This is the 50 amp breaker that I want to use as my main breaker. And then hopefully, eventually, uh, I'll be able to put a uh, power inverter over here and supply some uh, solar and wind to this. Um, that's pretty much it. We put a receptacle under the sink to power our reverse osmosis water filter. And we're going to have washer and dryer over there, fridge, uh, dedicated GFCI. For cooking, we will not have a range in this, uh, so that'll be exciting. All stuff that you'll be able to see in the future, and that's pretty much it. Well, there's going to be oh, well, there's four four more uh, receptacles that I need to wire up to switches. That's how uh, we chose to do it. We'll probably go with little LED lights, something efficient. And that's about all. So, thanks for watching. Um, please like it and subscribe. 